you're either buying the product or service um, and are you buying it off us? Because if you convince someone to buy the product or service, it doesn't mean you've got the business, right? No, you've created the market. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. And, and, and the problem is, uh, you know, if it's a new market or a new product, new service, maybe that's important. Like, so, you know, there are some people who have got a product or service. I am... Um, in our, our where our offices are in Liverpool, we've got a, a new startup that's kind of three months old in the next building, um, and their entire business is filling out the paperwork post Brexit for shipping companies. Like that is not a service that was needed twelve months ago, and suddenly you know he's got thirty people in their kind of brand new business. So he he doesn't he doesn't need a value proposition. Like people need the service, and nobody else is delivering it. So he's just telling people what he does, and people are buying off him. At some point. That changes. That is a conversation. That changes. And somebody else is doing it. And now he's in a, well, you know, why would you do it with us rather than somebody else? And so, he, it, you know, I've been trying to help him think through what's he going to do when he gets to the point where he has got competition. And so, uh, you know, there are stuff that he could be doing now, building processes, getting lean, getting efficient, so that in 12 months' time or 18 months' time, he's then got a value proposition.